at that dental convention for four days, but as soon as I get back, you gotta come in and let me work on those teeth of yours. You've been putting it off long enough. Well, don't worry. I think my teeth will hang on to you get back anyway. I don't think they need any work. Let me be the judge of that. You may have grown them, but those teeth in your head belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take good care of your teeth. I know it was my idea originally, but now I don't like it. It's a concert pianist with a toothache and an itch. Ah. Yeah, I don't know if that'd work. Ow! Oh! There, yeah! Right there! Put his leg! Move, right! Move, move! 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 I hope all this laughter is a result of a sketch you've written for Alan. What bit? I broke my tooth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold it. Either Rob is a fantastic actor or he's crying real tears. Oh. You, you mean this isn't part of the sketch? Mm -hmm. Are you in pain, Rob? Uh, perhaps you need to call your dentist or something. Yeah. You know, call Jerry yeah. and see if he can take me right okay, away. Right. Yeah? Okay. Oh, wait, I forgot. He does a convention till Monday. Oh. Would you like to try my cousin Irving? He's across town, but he can help you. Is he any good? Is he good? Why, he's so good, he's lecturing at the... Oh, the same convention. I forgot. I'm sorry. He... Oh. What about Dr. Bardhoffen? Alan and I both use him. I'll call Marge. Well, it looks fine, darling. It really does. Well, it's only temporary. It's not ready Monday, anyway. What'd you say? I said it's, only, it's only temporary. He's going to finish on Monday. Temporary? It looks permanent. That's the difference. You see, one of them is a worker. The other one is an artist. Well, that may be, darling, but the artist is a stranger and the worker is a friend. Oh, don't think I wasn't suffering a guilty conscience the whole time I was sitting in that chair. Professional men aren't petty about things like that. I know you'll understand about the emergency, but I'm just wondering if he's going to understand about this other one. It needed doing, but I could easily have waited for Jerry. Well, I was sitting there, the chair with my big mouth open. I thought I might as well let him drill away. <laughs> Honey, how can I go sit in his chair now and let him look in my mouth? You'll see those two strange teeth in there, he's going to be hurt. <laughs> Honey, I don't know what to do. Jerry's due back here Monday. He's expecting me over there for a checkup. Well, the only thing to do is just go to him and tell him. Let's pack up and move away. <laughs> How have your teeth been, Rob? Any sensitivities? Well, no, not at the moment. I mean, they're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. I don't know why you're checking them. They're so good. <laughs> well, we'll check them just to make sure. I probably did too good a job on you last time. Uh -huh. All right. Open? Yeah, check the top first. <laughs> they, look, they look fine, Rob. They're not fine. They're not fine. They're, they're very sensitive. They want to eat anything. Look, this eye tube. When I touch it, ooh, ooh. Look at it. When I touch it, they're, they're very sensitive. You better x ray them. Take your time. Come on, Rob. Enough of that. What's with you? <laughs> All right. Well, All right, I'll tell you what's with me. Jerry? Jerry? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a louse. A louse? Yeah, I don't know what else you'd call a person to do the disloyal and rotten thing I did. What disloyal and rotten thing? Would you like to see what rotten and dis... I'll show you what rotten and disloyal thing I did. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! What? I said I went to another dentist let him work on my teeth. Well, why did you feel you had to go to another dentist? Oh, I... Broke this tooth there, and I went to another guy let him work on it. Well, there's nothing so disloyal about attending to an emergency. Uh, okay, okay. That was an emergency. But how about that one there? Did I let him work on that? You let him work on another tooth? Yeah, now you see what I mean. You see what cut? Rip him out, Jerry. All of them. Just rip them out. <laughs> Everything out of my mouth. Just leave me my tongue so I can curse myself, Jerry. <laughs> Listen, Rob, you did the only thing you could in an emergency. I'm just glad you went to him and had your teeth fixed. You mean you're, uh, you're not mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I mean, I would be, but you're so busy being mad at yourself that I can't. Well, <laughs> you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. Yeah? Jerry, yeah, you know something? You're a great guy. You know, I'll tell you one thing. From now on, every tooth in my whole head, in my whole body, belongs to you. <laughs> Put it there. Okay, Rob. It's all right. Gee, I feel like I ought to buy something. That's all right. No, I can't. You want to drill my teeth? Yeah. All right, let the champion roll. How about some quick energy, champ? Thank you. All right. You may turn the timer over. Right. Here's a word for you. Oh, boy. I think our champ just chomped out a temporary inlay, right? Mm. Jerry, can you do it? Sure, sure. Rob, if you want to come next door, I'll cement it in for you. Even if it's Dr. Bardhoffen's inlay? Oh, he'd do the same for a patient of mine. He would. It would Jerry, he's a great guy. I know, I know. He's got a great record collection, and he's a great violinist. That's right, Jerry, but you've got something he's never going to have. An office next door? That's it. <laughs>